Okay, so I want to teach you how to play I Am New by Jason Gray. First thing that you have to do is retune your guitar to Dad Gad. That is D, A, D, G, A, D. Then you want to take your little capo clamp, clamp it up on the seventh. Uh, the nice thing about this tuning is that you can easily change for your vocal range, um, but it is recorded, I believe, in the seventh, uh, at the seventh fret. So, uh, the opening lick looks a little something like this. Let me start that over. Okay, so what I did here is I'm strumming the middle two strings and I'm hammering on second fret fourth string. Then you pull it off. Then you're going to hammer on to the um, uh, the third string fourth fret second uh, fourth string second fret. So it'll look like this. And then from there you're going to just a very simple walk down and then he slides it whoops <laughs> so pull off first string open and then so the whole intro, uh, that first part of the intro. Then he repeats that with the exception of then there's an octave where he slides it. So then when you repeat that lick, it's going to look more like this. Add the octave here. So that's the intro. Uh, then the the chorus. It's going to be basically. So he's doing it with his vocal there, basically walking it down. Now I won't deny the worst you can say about me, but I'm not defined by mistakes that I've made because God says of me. So that's basically how that's... Okay, so that's how you do the choruses. I'm sorry, the verses. Let me correct that. That's the verse. So then the chorus, um, you're going to be in that very first position. Then you're going to take your middle two fingers and go on the 3rd fret 2nd string, and then 4th fret 3rd string. And then you're going to take your pinky and your ring finger on the 5th fret, top 2 strings. And then move that down to the 2nd fret, same position. So, I'm not who I was, I'm being remade, I am new. And then you go right back into the opening lick with apologies for my uh, for my vocals. Who I thought I was. And then you're just doing that same pattern again. All right, so pretty simple there. Um, into the chorus, and then after the second chorus, there's a bridge. Um, starts off with "Too long have I lived in the shadow of shame." You are starting in at the fifth fret, top two strings, pinky and ring finger. Too long have I lived in the shadow of shame. And then.
then this is gonna repeat itself. Don't see me the way that I do. You don't see me the way that I do. And then between here, there's a little lick before he gets back into the uh, back into the um, chorus. So what I'm doing here, this is kind of an octave as well. I'm taking my middle two fingers, ring finger on the bottom string, um, middle finger on the uh, fourth string, or actually make that third string. So I'm on the third and the sixth. So I'm sliding that up to the fourth fret, then strumming it open, and then I'm just moving it up one string position up to the 4th, up to the 5th, and then up to the 7th. Then I'm palm mute it. I am not who I was. Back into the chorus. Okay, so that's basically going to go into that final chorus. The, uh, then there's an end part. Forgiven, beloved, hidden in Christ, made in the image of the giver of life. Okay, so what you're going to do here is, this is a easy, really easy. Forgiven, beloved, hidden in Christ, made in the image of the giver of life. And that's going to basically repeat itself. Starting on that position. Righteous and holy, reborn and remade, accepted and worthy, this is our new name. Okay, so you're going, just going up one string position, and then with this one I do an octave. And then you're barring the top two, or, or holding down the top two. And then it closes out with the opening lick, essentially. So good luck with it and have fun.